That's how it looks. I love to see it. I'm about to scream about it. Look. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That is Lucy. Okay. Everything's going right. Everything is going right. This Saturday morning, I'm almost like completely ready. I need to do my lips and we are going to the museum. We're gonna go do something fun this morning. I had kind of a rough night, so it was a little bit up in the air if we were gonna do it, but everyone's looking bright and shiny this morning. We're gonna make it happen, even if it's like a quick trip, you know? We still wanted to make it happen. Didn't get a lot of sleep last night, but you know, it happens. I washed my hair this morning, so it's perfume day. <laughs> why why do those things align in my mind wash your hair perfume day like i don't always remember to do perfume but on hair wash days it's always happening and this has been my favorite all summer long is it still summer i don't feel like it's technically summer anymore but i don't see myself stopping using this anytime soon this has been my absolute favorite it's the alien oh alien intense alien extreme i don't know i discovered it months ago and i absolutely love it i used just the original alien for years like 10 years or something it was my signature absolute favorite used it non-stop and for whatever reason i got away from it i came back i was going to purchase the original again and then i discovered this and it's so good it's like the original alien but a little bit more like fruity breezy summer like the summertime alien if you can imagine it's hard to imagine if you know alien but like it is so good. If you love it, you love it. And I love it. Anyway, okay, the reason why I turned on my camera right now is because as I was doing my makeup this morning, I realized I have a confession. I've made a realization. I have been complaining about my skin for the past like month, two months. Seems like forever. My skin has just been going crazy. Like literally never before. I've never had breakouts like this, like all over my face. Like it's not completely cleared up right now, but it's so much better. And I realized, even though I was like trying all these different things, I was blaming uh, evening primrose oil because I was taking that for a while. I stopped taking it. My skin didn't really get totally better, but I think that was a contributing factor, but like it was a mystery for a while. Trying different things, racking my brain, hating it, complaining about it. Anyway, I washed my brushes, my makeup brushes, a week or two ago. Suddenly, my skin is looking a little bit better. So, confession is, my skin wasn't going through something. I just needed to wash my brushes. I don't know why, but that is a chore that I just like can't force myself to do sometimes. Anyway, so I guess learn from my mistakes, wash your brushes and don't blame every other element of your life <laughs> before you do that. Okay, we gotta go. All right, so we're headed out to the Children's Museum. And I have been here, but it hasn't been since I was like, five years old like literally I think it was like a preschool field trip and I don't really remember much but I do distinctly remember it being like the coolest place I had ever been to as a child like I have vivid memories of the little grocery store set up where you could put things on the belt and there's a cash register and it, it was just the coolest thing I had ever seen in my life I think there was also like a farm set up where you could like pretend milk a cow we did go to the please touch museum in philadelphia whenever we did our chop trip in the spring that place was amazing if you ever have the opportunity to take kids there like so cool and it was huge anyway i'm really hoping lucy loves it we brought her wheelchair so hopefully she can like be more in on everything and then this is the hospital uh, is that when i say i'm going to the mess or is it where i'm coming in learning about Grant's life, doing a little sightseeing. Ooh, we're here! It's so cute. Lucy's super happy. Lucy's so happy.
I saw it, Mama. That was cool. Okay, have you guys ever seen this version of rock, paper, scissor? It's a pretty loud in here. Wildflowers, there's crazy construction next door, so I don't know if you can even hear me. You'd think wildflowers could hold it together for more than a day. Okay, back home, obviously. Lucy and Robin are napping, they had their bottles, we had lunch. I've got a little bit of work to do, but the children's museum was so much fun. It was so busy, there were so many people there, and there was so much to do. Like a whole level, I think, was shut down for the day, but like there was so much to do that we didn't even get to see everything. Anyway, I am about to publish part two of the last vlog I've been working on. It took me a long time to get this vlog out and then I split it into two parts and so the second part hasn't even gone out yet but I've done all the work for it so I'm going to publish that right now. Go on my story, tell everybody, and then get into the comments. Actually, let me ask you guys, I almost never publish on the weekends and it makes me think like people don't really watch videos on the weekend, but like, I don't even know if that's true. Do you guys watch YouTube videos or like go through your subscriptions on the weekends or do you, are you more so like watching videos during the week? I would appreciate to know that I'm uploading on a Saturday. We'll see what happens. Mm, my editing posture is not good. Published. Okay, so while I have a second, I want to show you guys everything we got in our newest KiwiCo Panda Crate. I'm so excited to have this stuff for Robin. This portion of the vlog is sponsored by KiwiCo, so thank you so much to them. In case you've never heard about them, they do subscription boxes and kits for kids that are focused on hands-on learning and exploration. We get the Panda Crate, which is focused on zero to three years old, and this box that we have here today is five to six months. Let me just show you everything that comes in the box and let me start with the wonder play guide at the beginning it just talks about the child's development the next part really goes in depth with all the different items that come in the box and then at the end they even include more diy ideas look at this little crinkle cloud i love crispy toys like this you can even just look at colors what do babies like more than like the tag on the toy okay i love these they're soft rattle blocks cause and effect stack them up knock them down you know this is the silicone teething ring i love all the colors now this might be my favorite thing from the whole box it is a bath book and what you do is drop water or like finger paint water onto the pages and all the colors just become super super vibrant these are their wooden transfer discs and it encourages passing from one hand to the other going through all the physical therapy that we've gone through like I know what a big deal it is to get this skill our last thing from the crate is this knot ball it again has a little rattle inside to catch your attention the last thing we got is this double spinning drum so that's everything that we got and I just love how high quality their stuff is this makes me feel like that much more excited and prepared to jump into new things with her. It's like a cheat sheet. Like they did all the research and we can just have fun with it. So if you guys want to check out KiwiCo, go to the link in the description and use my code Leanne to get 20% off your first Panda Crate. I've seen this, but it was a calendar of like... Your first year. My first year, I've got year two. Oh my goodness. That's my so first cute. outing was to Ted's Hot Dogs in the place we lived oh, in there. Arizona, yeah. I was a week old going for hot dogs. You had a busy schedule. The style then was sleeping on tummy. Week two? <laughs> week two. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh, look at different. all the cute little I love the design. So I just walked in here. This is the room where I work out, but 
we've had some of these keepsake boxes from Grant's mom's house and I've been meaning to go through them and put them where they need to go in the house. We don't really know where that could be, but like, look at this stuff. It's Grant's memorabilia. What's happening in here? Grant! I want to look at all of this. Yeah, this is like real, this is real memorabilia. Real memorabilia. Oh my gosh, this is a picture of Lucy. Yeah. That is Lucy. Oh. Yeah. It wasn't your intention. Oh, look at baby Grant. That's Lucy. I'm just gonna keep saying that about every picture I see. <gasps> Are those your suspenders? Oh, do they have the Mickey Mouse on the back? Yes! <laughs> yeah. Okay, all plans are canceled. We are just looking at baby Grant today. <gasps> this has food in it. Oh my gosh. This has like uh, 40 year old Cheerios in it. Yeah, they look as good as new though. <laughs> How did these survive so well? This side, not so much. I remember making this, we went through magazines and they cut out like favorite foods. Okay, our time is up and we're <laughs> kind of just putting it all back in. We were trying to like, organize it out. Didn't really happen. Peekaboo Elmo. This is Lucy's absolute favorite book. She can't stop thinking about it all day, every day. If you ask her if she wants something or if she wants to do something, she just looks towards her books. Like, you know what I want to do. And it's read all her books, but especially this one on a loop, if that's possible. Okay, we're about to head out. Grant is back here switching out the wheelchair for the double stroller. Cause like having all of our options in the back of my car, which is what I've been doing throughout this last week, has just been crazy. It's like the most frustrating Jenga game that I play with myself and it's hot outside and I'm trying to get in and there's babies and it's not been a good situation. And I've been dealing with all three of them, a single stroller, a double stroller, and a wheelchair, kind of a headache. Anyway, right now we are headed out to Walmart. Despite the fact that I have a list of things that I need to do around the house, things I need to take care of. Also a haul that I want to share with you guys. It's very quick, but I definitely need your opinion because I've been doubting myself. Anyway, I saw a post on Instagram showing amazing Christmas decorations. We were already planning on going out to eat, but on the way, we're gonna go see if these Christmas decorations actually exist. Basically in the first frame, I saw blow molds. And if you were following last year when I did my Christmas decorations, I was so excited to get our blow molds and put them out because it's just been like, one of my lifelong dreams to have like cool vintage blow molds and ours were not they were from lowe's but i liked the size because i've been looking for them for so many years but they're always really tiny who knows what size the ones at walmart are or, tiny, or if they'll even be there but we're gonna stop in we're gonna check it out i showed it to grant like the second i saw the blow molds and he was like let's go that's what we need to do let's go to walmart <laughs> you'll love to see it well if you don't get there they're gonna sell out this is the moment where you say that's how love works that's how love works Works. Should we start a podcast called That's How Love Works just solely based on the way you just said That's How Love Works that's in a radio voice? <laughs> that's How Love Works with on a Grant. a very, very special episode. <laughs> that's how love works. That's how lo Grant always talks so low in my videos and I always have to try to like crank up the volume. Yeah. That's how love works. I, can't, I just can't talk loud. You can't do it. My throat. <laughs> forgot one of the things that I wanted to do while we're here and actually I wanted to do it during the week but I kept forgetting I wanted to get the ingredients for something that Grant sent me Grant DMs me all kinds of things on Instagram of course that's everybody right that's what you do when you're married that's what you do you communicate by sending each other Slide, posts. Sliding in there. <laughs> but Grant never sends me recipes or food things, and he sent me Rice Krispie peanut butter balls. And they look <laughs> so delicious. And I immediately was like, I need to make these for him. It seems like he wants these. And you know what? I want them too. Doesn't this totally seem be. like a Christmas party type thing? Oh yeah. I totally didn't make it a surprise. I wanted to make it a surprise. Everything is out. These are a really good size. I really love this one and this one I don't do Grinch, but this lady just passed me in the aisle and said, oh, it's Christmas stuff. It's nauseating. Meanwhile, I'm in heaven. Do you see this poodle, Grant? I'm about to scream about it. Look 
Look. <gasps> oh, we have to have that immediately. That thing is huge. Oh, we need, oh, look at this. Look at this Cindy Lou Who. Hold on, I might do Grinch after all. I, two seconds ago, I was like, I don't do Grinch. But look at Cindy Lou Who. Look at these. Look at this. Look at this stuff. And these light up. <gasps> Ooh. They got super bright. You know what I didn't notice? The church. The church is so cute. The penguin. The dogs. The candles. Honestly, every single one of them. I want to be one of those yards where there's not a square inch unused. Definitely a theme. It's in the yard and it's Christmas. It needs to be big. Yes, those are going in the cart. And just said we need another cart. Do you want the gingerbread? Do you want the eight and a half foot gingerbread house? No, not that one. I feel like they just put these out like five minutes ago. They're so perfect and I'm gonna line them back up. I am not that person. Okay, we need to walk away, but look. Okay, so obviously we've got a little situation here. The car is at maximum capacity, so we're going straight home. Okay, so Grant just brought the blow molds in, sat down the snowman and goes, I don't know, maybe we should have gotten the church. <laughs> anyway, let me show you real quick all the big stuff that we got at Walmart. There are a couple little bags of like ornaments and stuff like that that were honestly like not interesting enough to highlight. I just want to show you the big stuff, the stuff that I'm super, super excited about. Okay, first, I don't know if I showed these while we were shopping, but they're yard stakes. They're like huge finial ornaments. They're super shiny. There's glitter, there's silver, there's red, everything you need. Where are these gonna go? No idea. And then these are very similar, but they're not on a stake. You can actually hang these. You could hang these from maybe your porch or hang them from the trees. And that's what we were thinking about doing. Grant actually found these. Oh, I'm making a mess. I'm freaking out. I love it. Like if you don't get it, you don't get it and that's fine but literally for years i've been googling i've been searching i've been looking for blow molds I'm so excited about this okay let me put this in it okay i really wish i had an extension cord handy so i could have all three of them lit up but look at these two look at the gingerbread man with the lit up smile with the candy cane in a, in a little cup of cocoa with a candy cane handle like y'all <laughs> Y'all don't know how happy I am. I don't know, you guys might think I'm completely crazy, but if you've been watching me for a while, you know what I like when it comes to Christmas. But like, if you have like an all white gold, like coordinated Christmas aesthetic, like you might think I'm crazy. But like for me, this is it. Okay, we just got home and Grant starts pulling out all this candy apparently he did a haul of his own i took the girls out to the car to get them loaded up while he checked out we got skittles we got whatever these mega things are hold no. on hold on you said you had never had a peanut butter m m yes i have what? i said i don't really like them oh anyway Mine what else good. is in this bag sir so i Ever since I was a kid, I'd like, you're waiting in checkout line and you're like, you're kind of looking around through this stuff, right? And you start to see like, oh, what is- Obscure like, candy yeah, bars? Yeah, like the, like the whatchamacallit. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a zero bar. I've I'm definitely never seen this. And some of these. All right, it's time for a bedtime routine. It's time for baths and bottles and that whole marathon to start. And I think I'm going to split this vlog, this weekend vlog into two parts like I did last time. And so this is going to be the end of part one. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. I'll be in the comments. I love talking to you guys. I'll see you in the next vlog. Thanks. I love you. Bye.